All right, after a month at sea, uh, stopping in Nova Scotia and Newfoundland, we have finally made it to the capital, New Greenland, and now we can start our science. All right, things are finally working. We had a broken cable to our acoustic Doppler current profiler, and we fixed the cable, we re-terminated it. So now we're gonna be ready to go. Okay, so we have taken off the pipe and it looked a little bit boogered up, but we're just gonna try to clean it up and put it in. I thought it might be cracked, but it's not, so that's great. And we might be able to just salvage it and put it back together. There's. So we tried to just clean up the line and put it back on, but it ended up being cracked. So it just got worse. Uh, ultimately, we had to cut this and jury rig it, uh, bypassing two of the engine fuel filters but the Raycar filter is a smaller micron, so it shouldn't be a problem temporarily. Okay, what's going on? We've confirmed that the ADCP on the pole, the 600 kilohertz ADCP is good to go. Now what are we gonna do? Now we're gonna leave and we're gonna go to the fjords and get started with research. All right. Mm -hmm. This is the first transect that we'll be doing uh, over the next 24 hours. Every hour we'll do another lap uh, across the face of this glacier, uh, trying to get some good ADCP data to better understand the velocity of the meltwater. Uh, after about 18 hours of doing transects in the fjord, it's turned into a beautiful day. Uh, Zamaya is at the helm and we're about to take off, dodge some ice and get some more data. After 48 hours of measurements here in Niger Likasik Glacier, we're all done with the ADCP and gas measurements, and we're ready to head out to Akulia Glacial Fjord. It is a rainy day in Greenland. We have made it to the ocean retreated glacial fjord. That's where the glacier has retreated back, but is still connected to the Greenland ice sheet. So we'll spend the next 24 hours going back and forth, running to ADCP in the rain. Okay, I'm at the beginning of the transect. You can start the ADCP. Copy that. We have wrapped up the ADCP transects in this fjord 
and there's a potential of some weather coming we're not sure it's always hard to tell in Greenland so we're gonna leave here go to the ocean terminating fjord which is the iciest fjord of all of them and try to knock that out and just in case the wind picks up so we came into this fjord in 2022 and 2023 and both times it was so full of ice we couldn't get anywhere near the glacier face and every once in a while the ice will just flush its way out of the fjord and we got lucky this time we came in we were able to get much closer and be able to do these transects uh, in a lot less ice than we originally planned for yeah during this expedition we're using two different adcps one for the icier waters that are very deep and that one's snug and secure deep in the hole under the boat and the other one is, is secured nicely on a pole sticking in the water used in areas with less ice and areas that are shallower two different frequencies that have two different performing capabilities Yeah, we're like 92 feet away now, so I'll, I'll try to get us a little bit closer again. Okay, yeah, but maybe wait till I hook it all up and start it Okay. We're at the mouth of the fjord observing the exchange flow of cold fresh water from the glacier towards the ocean and warm salty water from the ocean into the fjord. And that bottom layer is bringing nutrients with it. So we're going to grab a sample of that water and test the nutrients. This is a deglaciated fjord. It's been hundreds of years since there was a glacier at the end. So we came into this fjord to get a unique data set that we can compare to the other fjords to see how they compare and contrast. This is the ADCP measurements, and it's representing the glacial meltwater velocity. The velocity of glacial meltwater is critical in being able to improve the accuracy of sea level rise prediction. Sermilic Fjord is our final survey here with our ADCP, and it's a special fjord because it's contributing the most sediment than any other glacial fjord in Greenland. We are back in Nuke, Greenland. We have finished the ADCP project. A couple of our crew have went home. Another crew member is coming later today and we'll continue north for the next project.